Welcome once again to We Still Are Learning the Little Mats, and this will be part two of what we did before. So, obviously, this is the TOP edition, teaching and paper edition, right? So, let's head on over to number six to ten. So, let's go and deal with that. Now, one of my favorite things about this is understanding that if you want to know what number separates each, you will have 8 minus 4, 12 minus 8, 16 minus 12. So what do we get when we do that? So here we are. So 8 minus 4, 12 minus 8, 16 minus 12, all of them being, all of them being 4. So no, it just means we have to add 4 to each of them. Once we follow that trend, we know our answer is going to be 16 plus 4. Our answer is going to be D. Now, here's what I love about decimals. Treat this number as if the decimal point is not there, and let's see what we get. So instead of 27.17, we have 2,770, right? So let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so where were we? Right, so now we're going to add these digits. Wait, let me line up that four a little better. All right, so no, which of them looks like that? Because I bet you if we put the decimal point back where it was, it would look just like that. So we're done with number six and seven. So what about number eight? Again, we're going to treat this the same. So it's going to be 93,660 divided by 12. Now I tell all of my students to do this. We're going to create multiples of that number on the right right there. So let's see how far we have to go with multiples of 12. All right, so forgive me for running out of space. So now let's begin. Nine is smaller than 12, 24, 36, all the way up to 120. So yeah, we'll put zero above nine. Now we're moving on to 93. 93 is bigger than everything except 96. Now if you did your count and you got seven, we're going to put, we're going to put seven. Now the last thing we used was 84. Now what number do we add to 84 to get 93? We'll just say the box is equal to 93 minus 84. So what is that going to be? Now that's going to be nine. Now here's a fun trick, right? You're going to take the nine and put it behind the 93. So it's going to look like this. So tell me when you notice it, yeah? So the nine is behind the 93. Now it looks like 96. But 96 is equal to 96. So, so because we have eight ticks, we will put the number 8 above the 6. And let me do this again. What number do I add to 96 to give me 96? That's going to be 0, and we put that behind the 96. Now, with that in mind, we underline the 6. 6 is smaller than everything there, so why don't we do this? Now, once you put an X on everything, it means that, yeah, you're going to have zero for that. And now we move to, we underline the next digit, so now it looks like six zero, and six zero is 60, and 60 is right there at number five, so we're going to put down number five, and the last thing we'll say is that 60 plus, plus zero is equal to 60, and therefore your remainder is zero. So you have something that looks like 7,805. You have a 78.05. So it's safe to say that that's your answer right there. And now we can move to number nine. Okay, so we are putting them in fractions and decimals for a little perspective, right? Now, what if I were to add the whole number three to each of these? No. Which one of them looks like it starts with a 3.6? That's going to be A. So if it's A, we're going to have to work with that. I can explain that another time. 
when I have more time, yeah? Now let's go to number 10 because I think this is a little bit fun. So let's, let's try doing this subtraction here. Now I handle my subtraction a little bit differently. So let's see how I do that. Now if you notice, I've taken out the 2207 out of the number and I'm going to subtract 4063 from 30,000. So what do I do here? I'm going to add 7 to 3 to give me 10, so it'll be 0 carry a 1. Notice I put a 1 above the 6, so now 6 becomes 7. 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 3 gives us 10. And now we have 0 plus 1, 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10. And now we carry the 1 one more time. 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. So now let's put the 2207 back where we found it. Now I promise at the end of this we're going to have our answer. So you can pause here just in case you don't believe me. Now which of these is our answer going to be? Yup, there you have it. Our answer is B. Number 11 is, well, yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot easier than we want it to be. Now, B would be true if it was 4 plus 24, so B is wrong. C would be true if it was, I don't know, um, the dash would be, or not the dash, but the asterisk. If the asterisk was equal to 28 plus 4, then... Sure, C would be right, but it's not, so it's a multiply sign and not a plus. Now, this would also be true if this was, the asterisk was equal to 28 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, so that would have been true, except it's not 28 times 4. So, ladies and gents, knowing the wrong answer is equally important as knowing the right one. So again, thanks for helping us to stay on track. And this is what happens when we still learn the little maths. Yeah? So we just got done with all of that.